Okay, so let's look at part A then. Now hopefully you've realised that this particular question is on arithmetic sequences and series. Let's just remind you, if you've forgotten that concept, what we have is the first term is 4, 4 sticks in the first row, then 7 sticks in the second row, and 10 sticks in the third row. And if we kept this going, in the fourth row we can see this is going up in steps of 3, then obviously in the next row, the fourth row, would have 13 steps, 10 add 3, making 13. So this is a typical example of an arithmetic sequence. We often call the first term A and the gap, the common difference between successive terms D. So in this case D is going to be 3. So the first term A is going to be 4. The next term, the second term is A plus 1D. The third term is A plus 2D. The fourth term would be A plus 3D and so on. So the nth term this is a formula you should be familiar with, will be a plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. So it's this idea that we use in part a. So the number of sticks then in the nth row is going to be given by a plus n minus 1 times that common difference d. Well we know a is the first term and that's going to be 4. We have n rows, so it's going to be n minus 1 in our formula, and the common difference is 3, because we keep adding 3 steps to get from one row, sorry, we keep adding 3 sticks, I should say, to get from one row to the next. Okay, so let's just expand this bracket here, and we get 4 plus 3n minus 3. And grouping this together, 4 take away the 3 is 1, so we have 1 plus 3n. Okay, so that's part A. Now for part B, we're asked to find out what the sum of the first 10 rows are going to be, the total number of sticks that are going to be used in making all 10 rows. What this involves is the sum of an arithmetic sequence. And we should know that the formula Sn okay, is given by n over 2 and then it's twice the first term 2a plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. Okay, so I'm going to use this formula here to find the total number of sticks in all 10 rows. So we call that S10 and that would equal then n over 2 and n is going to be 10 so it's 10 over 2. Then it's twice the first term so 2 times 4 because there were 4 sticks in the first row plus n minus 1, well n is 10, so that's going to be 10 minus 1, or simply 9, times the common difference d, which we know is 3. So all we need to do is just work this out now. So 10 divided by 2, well that's 5, and then we have 2 times 4, which is 8, and 9 times 3 is 27, Adding those two together, we get 35. And 5 times 35 is 175. So we have a total of 175 sticks then in all 10 rows. OK, we move now on to part C. And in part C then, we've got to create an inequality. So we know that the sum of the first k rows, 
okay, the number of sticks in the first k rows must amount to less than 1750. So if that's the case, we know what SK will be because we can use this formula over here just by replacing the N with a K. So therefore what we get is that instead of SK we have K over 2, so K over 2, and then it's twice the first term, so 2 times 4 plus k minus 1 times the common difference which we know is 3 and that has got to be less than 1750. Let's scroll down. Okay now then to simplify this what I'll do is times both sides by 2 and simplify this bracket. So if I times both sides by 2 I'm going to get k and then inside this bracket we have 2 4's at 8 and then I have plus 3k and then 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. Remember I'm timesing both sides by 2 so I got rid of the 2 here and doubling the right hand side would mean that I get less than 3500. Okay. So we now clean up these terms inside the square bracket. So 8 take away 3 is 5. And if I multiply that with the k outside, I'm going to get 5k. And then k times the 3k is 3k squared. And then that will be less than the 3500. Now what I have here is a quadratic inequality appearing so I've got to rearrange this into the right format so we start with the k squared term that's 3k squared then the 5k and then I subtract 3500 from both sides and I get minus 3500 is less than zero. Now I'd want to factorize this it looks a bit tricky to factorize so I'm going to assume that I'm right copy down what they give me that I have to show so we'll do that and check afterwards I'll work on the assumption that I'm right rather than spending ages trying to find out how it factorizes so 3k minus 100 k plus 35 okay let's just check hopefully we're right okay that k doesn't look particularly good there so I'll just rub that out and replace it with a better k there you go Okay, so multiplying this out, I can see 3k squared, 3k times 35, that's 105. Take away 100k, that gives me 5k. Okay, and uh, what else we got? Then 100 t minus 100 times 35, minus 3500. So, it's good. Okay, so that's C.